Hey Dave, do you print with Brickwell limiter or apply it later on the printed file? Mm, print what? A mix? A mix with a limiter? No. <laughs> Have you followed my channel at all? You don't mix with a limiter on your two bus. Why would you mix with a limiter on your two bus? Limiting is the last step of mastering. Your mix, you don't care about how loud your mix is because that's mastering job. And sure as shit, you don't put a limiter on your two bus because otherwise you're clipping. Because if you're clipping your two bus, I said it many times, you don't know how to mix and you need to stop. <laughs> so no, you don't ever use an, I mean, ever. The ever is a big word. There is a few occasions in which you can use a limiter on your two bus just for artistic purposes. Like Sonox limiter has a specific color or something like that. But you don't use a limiter thinking, oh, my master is going to be louder. Your master is going to be actually lower because if you send me a mix to master and you already put a limiter on it, those peaks are already squashed. So that mix can take a lot less abuse, you know, from the master engineer. And most likely you're going to, you, you did a worse job than I would do. Uh, you know, limiting your mix, because that's what mastering is about. And you don't slap a limiter on your mix. That's not mastering. That's bullcrap. Many pro mixers are mixing to limiters, so I don't make it a set rule for them. Uh, many, many mixers suck. Again, the only purpose of mixing into a limiter is for artistic purposes. But let's talk about this. Because limiters are, are literally meant to be completely as transparent as it gets, right? So you want to tell me that by <laughs> your artistic decision to use a limiter on your two bus is to use the most transparent processor that you can possibly have in your DAW? Doesn't make any sense, does it? Right? If you tell me a clipper, then I add a little bit of distortion on everything unless we are talking about those few limiters and I can only think about the Sonox, which has a specific sound just by inserting it, not even doing any compression. And it has a pre-process, which is a special trick that we use. What the f is the purpose of mixing with a limiter on if the limiters are literally meant to be as transparent as possible? You know why people do that? Because people are scared that the client are going to reject their mix because their mix is not as loud as the reference. Well, guess what? I always send mixes at a normal level, much lower than the standard level of mastering, and I never get revision. It's a heinous thing to send the client a mix that is squashed with a limiter. Oh, it's just for reference. You know why? Because the client then and now has a bias. And when... The client send the mix to master and the master engineer spits the shit because that mix is squashed. The client has an ear for it and it, it's, it's super hard to explain to the client that that's a shit thing to do. And also you don't want to talk shit about other mix engineers. So you don't, but why would you use a limiter on your two bus for artistic reasons? If a limiter is literally the most transparent process that you can possibly have it makes no sense. So you're using it not to clip. And if you're using it not to clip, you don't know how to mix. Approve the mix. Believe me, the master is going to be loud. Hands on my neck, hands, get my throat, throat. Lift me up, up, man, take control, up. Heart is so gone, my type. Don't you know I fall for the bad type? You play the role of an angel pretty well. But I can say you can't.